Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we will show you how to prevent and stop apps from being stopped in the background by the OS. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. Do note that the OS might already be having quite a few features that will help you get this job done. But I have came across many OEMs and many phones that in spite of having the feature are not able to keep the app running in the background and the OS tends to stop those apps from running after a couple of hours. So in this video, we will force the system and the OS to not stop those apps from running in the background so that you will be able to use the app continuously. So for instance, if you have a sync service which is running in the background, then you may let the system know that you don't want to stop the sync service no matter whatever be the case. So with that said, there is one drawback which you are already aware of. It might lead to additional battery drainage because the app will run continuously in the background. So if that is well and good and in rare cases the phone might also overheat because the app will be running in the background. It totally depends on the app which you are using. So if this is a heavy app or a game then it might lead to a battery drainage and overheating. But if just it's a small app such as a sync service then it will not lead to any additional battery drainage or overheating as such. So keep all this point in mind and if that's well and good then let's get started. First and foremost you will have to obtain root on your phone via Magis, Kernel SU or Apache. Again I have told you since the feature is already inbuilt in many phones but that feature does not tend to work along the expected line. For example let me show you what feature I am talking about. This is the known as pause app activity if unused and all such you may turn off this feature and go to app permission and also make sure that this feature has been turned off. But even on doing so, I have seen that the OS tends to stop the app from running in the background to save some additional battery drainage. But in this video, we will show you how to bypass that restriction. So let's get started. First off, obtain the root via Magisk kernel issue or APAS. In my case, I have done the root via Magisk and I am running the latest Magisk build. Next up, you will have to install the ls framework onto your phone. I have already made a separate guide and a video on the same. But still let me show you once again. So if you are running Android 13, 14 or any other older version, Android 14 or older version, then their process is slightly different as compared with Android 15. So I'll show you that as well. But first off, make sure you have obtained root and then you have to enable Zygisk. In case of Magisk, just go to the settings menu and enable the toggle next to Zygisk. But if you are using kernel is your a patch then they do not have inbuilt zygisk and so you'll have to flash the zygisk next module so flash the module to obtain zygisk and once that is done you will also have to restart your phone but we will do a restart after flashing the module just to save some time now if you are on android 14 or older version then download the official ls4 framework from here make sure to download the zygisk release and if you are on android 15 then you have to download the mod version of ls post this is because the official version has been archived as you could see on 8th of january and at that point in time only the android 14 was available android 15 was not there so if you are on android 15 you will have to get hold of the jing matrix ls post and it supports android 15 as well as you could see so once you have got the ls post zip file transfer the zip file onto your phone and then you have to flash it via magisk so or the kernel SU or a patch in my case I'm using magisk so go to modules tap on install from storage and select the ls4 zip file then tap on ok and it will now be flashed once that is done you will also have to install the zygisk or rather the ls post apk file so for that simply extract the zygisk ls post apk file so let me show you this should be somewhat here itself this is the ls4 zip file extracted and upon extraction you will get a few files let me show you so inside this file there is a file name manager.apk you will have to install this apk file install this and this will then give you the ls post apk file so just hit install you may also extract the file from the pc and then send the apk onto your phone if your phone does not support extraction of the apk so once you have done the extraction of the manager apk file and installed it onto your phone you will now have to restart your phone as well. So let's do a restart. So first we enable Zygisk, then we flash the ls zip file and then we extracted the 
lspost zip and install the manager.apk file to get the lspost apk as well and finally we will have to do a restart upon the restart the lspost will now be up and running on our phone as well and we could then get hold of the required task so just give it a few more seconds and our phone will then boot to the os and after that you will now have to get hold of the app retention hook module from the github so go to this link and from here go to the release section as you could see this module implements the background keep alive by hooking the system logic and you could read more about this if you want but let's go to the release section and get hold of the latest apk file you will download the apk file from here once you have got the apk file transfer the file onto your phone and then you have to install the apk file as well so launch the file manager app but before that launch ls post and make sure that it's up and running as you could see in my case it's activated if that's well and good launch the file manager app and now you have to install the file which is app retention.apk let's install it which will take just a few seconds then tap on done and you will get a notification that exposed mod is not yet activated not an issue launch ls post go to module open app retention enable the module and after that by default the system framework and battery and performance will be check mark if you want you may enable and check mark the rest of the apps as well so let me go to hide and uncheck system apps it will now bring up a list of all the system apps as well so i want the sync service to run in the background continuously so i'll just select the this is the cloud backup service let me check mark this and you may choose any app of your choice which you want to run continuously in the backend it's completely up to you then let's say if you want the any other third party app or system apps you want to run in the background then simply check mark that app and it will then continuously run in the background even if you close the app from the recent app it will then also run in the background so once you have check marked the required apps you will have to do a restart this restart is compulsory so let's reboot our phone to the os so even if you remove the app from the recent app screen that is not a cause of concern the app will still continue to run in the backend without any issue and it will run 24 7 until and unless you manually do a force stop in that case the app will be stopped but apart from that it will keep on running in the backend and carry out its task the system will not be able to force stop or close the app in the backend it will not have that much power now and the os will also not be able to close the app until and unless you do a force stop the app will be working well and good without any issue on your phone so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching